I wanted to make a 3D tsunami model. So here, as you can see, are my two big cities. Uh, here are my two buildings. When the earthquake happens, they move to the whole seabed and make and make tectonic plates, and those tectonic plates crash together, and at least one of the plates rises up when the other plate stays there but grows a little down. And then it that forces it to make the tsunami. When the when the when when the waves are not close to the shore are way are way far in the ocean, you it doesn't really approach as a big wave rate like this because in the far away ocean there are deep it's a deep graph it's a deep sea there is deep sea bed so that's why there is like low waves but mm, towards the shore there there is a shallow sea bed so it makes a higher wave <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Back to Magic with Fatiha. Dear viewers, the word tsunami comes from Japan. It's a word from Japan. Su meaning harbor and nami meaning wave because, so as you know in 2004, there was another big tsunami in Sri Lanka and most of, and some of the parts of the southern Asia. So, in 2011, when I was born, there was also this big tsunami ha happening in Jap Japan. And you know, in and you know, Japan is one of the riskiest places where a tsunami can happen. When the when a wave come when a big wave come to the shore, you can. Note it. You can notice that that there are that it comes it comes and spreads the city. But when the when the when when the waves are not close to the shore, are way are way far in the ocean. You it doesn't really approach as a big wave rate like this because in the far away ocean there are deep. It's a deep graph. It's a deep sea. There is deep sea bed, so that's why there is like low waves. But mm, towards the shore, there there is a shallow sea bed, so it makes a higher wave. So now I am going to talk about how a tsunami happens. So here are my three big waves. As as I just said, as I just said before, here is a bigger wave because there's a shallower seabed towards the shore. Then that's why there is a big wave. But here, not like really far away from the shore, because my shore is here, my small waves are here. Here is a deep sea, so that's why it has low um, waves. Now I'm going to show tell you how a tsunami happens. So there are basically three reasons why a tsunami, how a tsunami happens. The first reason is that there, it, there is a volcanic eruption. There is a volcanic eruption to, in, the, in the ocean, not in the land, but in the deep sea. And when that volcanic eruption happens, it, happens it explodes up and it comes towards land which forces it to become a tsunami the next reason is because is because the landslides come and crash together and when the earthquake happens they move to the whole seabed and make and make tectonic plates and those tectonic plates crash together and at least one of the plates rises up when the other plate stays there but grows a little down. And then it that forces it to make the tsunami. So now you know how the tsunami happens. Thanks for watching.